Welcome back to our channel. In today's episode, we're diving into to the Unleashing the Giants, the most monstrous dinosaurs ever discovered. The quest for the title of the largest dinosaur ever continues to captivate us. As time marches on, we unearth more evidence of these ancient giants. And we're not just talking about herbivores, but also their formidable carnivorous counterparts. Just how colossal were the mighty sauropods, and could they have fallen prey to the fearsome meat-eaters of their era? Could giants like the Giganotosaurus or the imposing Spinosaurus have taken on a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a battle for supremacy? And what if the T-Rex was even larger than we thought? If you are a dinosaur enthusiast, get ready for answers to these questions and more. Brachiosaurus Many of us grew up thinking that Brontosaurus and Diplodocus were the largest dinosaurs, icons of colossal herbivores for over a century. But as time passed, we discovered even greater giants. During the Great Dinosaur Renaissance of the 1970s through the 1990s, we unearthed massive fossils with names like Ultrasaurus, Seismosaurus, and Supersaurus. However, many of these discoveries didn't stand up to scrutiny in the lab, some fossils were lost or destroyed during WW2, and others disintegrated over time. Brachiosaurus the most complete fossil skeleton of a herbivorous dinosaur we found belongs to Brachiosaurus. These giants reached lengths of 17 to 22 meters, 55 to 72 feet, and stood around 13 meters, 42 feet, tall. They likely weighed as much as 70 tons and had longer front limbs, aiding them in reaching high vegetation. Titanosaur, one of the largest herbivores known to us roamed the earth 100 million years ago during the early Cretaceous. Meet Patagotitan Mayum, also known as the Titanosaur. Fossils, including a 2.4 meter, 8 foot, long thigh bone, provide a glimpse of its colossal size. Estimated to weigh around 69 metric tons, 76 tons, these creatures were larger than 10 fully grown African elephants. Argentinosaurus, but there's another herbivore that surpasses the Titanosaur in size, Argentinosaurus. Although known to science since 1993, Evidence of this behemoth was initially discovered in 1987. Though no complete skeletons have been found, estimates place them at 3740 meters, 121,131 feet, in length and weighing between 90 and 100 metric tons, 99 to 110 tons. Dinosaurus, not all four-legged herbivores were colossal. Some bipedal herbivores surpassed even the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex and Spinosaurus. For decades, we had only seen Dinosaurus's massive 8 foot long arms with 8 inch claws, larger than any other bipedal dinosaur. Shandangosaurus, around 100 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, a massive hadrosaurid called Shantungosaurus giganteus inhabited the Shandong Peninsula. With lengths of up to 16.5 meters, 54 feet, and weights around 16 tons, 18 short tons, these dinosaurs spotted a unique feature, a large hole near their nostrils, potentially for sound production. Predators All these colossal herbivores shared one thing in common, they were prey for formidable meat-eating dinosaurs. One such predator was Tarbosaurus, which could reach lengths of 10 to 12 meters, 40 feet, and weighed 4.5 metric tons, 5.0 short tons. Tyrannosaurus rex, it is the most famous dinosaur, measured up to 12.3 meters, 40 feet, in length and could weigh up to 8.8 .8 metric tons, 9.78 short tons. 
With impressive speed and crushing bite force, it was a top-tier predator. Giganotosaurus, it is a larger than T-Rex, might have had a weaker bite force but compensated with speed, running up to 50 km per hour, 31 miles per hour. Spinosaurus, the legendary Spinosaurus, a crocodile-like dinosaur. Could grow between 14-18 meters, 46-59 feet, long and weighed an astonishing 12,000-20,000 kilograms, 13-22 tons. It hunted both in water and on land and could be a formidable opponent. Conclusion now that you've learned about these incredible dinosaurs, we'd love to know which one is your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video to support our channel. Thanks for watching.